Hello everyone, my name's Helen Williams and I'm the Head of Midwifery at Yeovil District Hospital. I'm here today with some members of my team and we wanted just to update you on the current situation with regards to the coronavirus and the impact that's having on the maternity service here. First of all, it's really important that I reassure you that we are here for you. Um, your care will all continue just as before, it's just that we are going to change the way in which we do some elements of your care differently. The reason for this is that we can reassure you and keep you and your baby safe and also keep our staff safe because that's really important. Obviously as we go through the next few weeks we are a little bit concerned that our staffing levels may drop so that's why we've had to do things differently and the girls will tell you a bit about that in, in a minute. But let me just say it is just so important that you still access your care and that you look after yourself, that you follow all of the social distancing guidance that's out there and just stay safe. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ali Dennett. I'm the community lead midwife here at Yeovil. Um, we wanted to give you the reassurance about your appointments that you have with your community midwife. Um, many things have changed, as you're all very much aware, um, about how some of the appointments are being run. Some of our GP surgeries aren't able to open up with us at this moment in time and we're needing to source alternative venues to be able to see you. Some of your appointments will be replaced by a telephone call and when we speak to you on the telephone we will ascertain whether it is important whether we continue to see you at that time. Many appointments will still be face to face because it's really important in pregnancy that we see you to do the routine tests that we currently do. Please bear with us while some of these adjustments are made. We know it's a really stressful time for you and your families um, in this period. We um, will offer an alternative venue. We have a, a new hub as of next week, which is in Yeovil um, on Coronation Avenue, St. Ch um, St. Peter's Community Centre. And we're currently setting up some clinics there for you to be able to see the midwife. Unfortunately for the, for the hub, other services have had to pull out. So we are the only ones at this hub. We do ask that you try and attend appointments alone, and that is just to follow the current government guidance. Um, we do appreciate it's difficult sometimes for childcare and for partners, but as much as you're able to follow this advice, we do encourage it. It's also to keep yourself safe and to keep the staff safe from limiting the amount of people they see. One of the other things in pregnancy is some of the vaccinations that are on offer, and one of them is the whooping cough vaccine, other known as pertussis. And sometimes the surgeries may have difficulties booking you in for this. Please bear with us, we're currently looking at a way to be able to offer you that here at the hospital. If you already have a hospital appointment or are coming in for a scan at 20 weeks, we can offer that to you. But please bear in mind, if you don't have those appointments and you've gone past, um, within the next week or two, we will be able to promote that service and let you know. We look forward to being able to answer any questions and my advice at this time would be to leave a message on your community midwife answer phone. Um, the teams would be the Meadow team, the Maple team, Oak team, Rowan team and Cedar team. If there's no one in the office, there is an answer phone. You might find that the phone lines are more busy than usual and they're engaged, but please either try back or try out of hours and leave the message. You will be contacted the next day. It's important to us that we keep you safe and happy and we will do our best to um, do whatever we can to, to ensure that happens. Um, thank you for your time. Hello, my name's Cher Smith. I'm the Public Health Lead Midwife at Yeovil Hospital. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about antenatal education because as you probably are already aware, we've had to withdraw some of the classes that we would normally offer. We've set up a nice private Facebook group for people to join. You can do that by searching for Yeovil Hospital Maternity Group. Um, and in that group, hopefully we'll be able to expand some nice educational resources for you and allow you to access those and um, signpost you to good sites that you can use. Um, there should also be some postnatal support in that group from other mums as well, because it's a nice private group. Um, we also are working currently on a, private, a virtual tour, um, which hopefully will be on the website very soon. And we um, would like to reassure you that the infant feeding team are working really hard at maintaining the support that you currently need and will keep getting back to you and keep offering you support. 
So the infant feeding team are here to carry on giving you support. We might not do so much of that face to face. To help us do that, we've set up a Zoom facility. So that means that you'll be able to get video one-to-one -one support with the team. To access that support, please contact your community midwife and tell her that you're having trouble with your feeding and then the infant feeding team will be in touch and set that up for you. So now just a little bit about when you come into hospital to have your baby. You may well have seen from Facebook and from the notices around the maternity unit, we have had to restrict visiting. This is to reduce the number of people in the maternity unit at any one time and to keep you and your baby and your family safe. So we ask you not to bring any children into the hospital and that, that applies across the whole of the um, Yeovil Hospital. When it comes to labour, you can of course have your birth partner with you, um, the person that you've chosen to be with you when you have your baby and that is really, really important that you have somebody there to give you that level of support that you'll need. Unfortunately, that person won't be able to see you on the postnatal ward so we will try to get you home as soon as we possibly can and of course if it's safe for you to do so, you can go home straight from the labour ward, but we will advise you that at the time. When it comes to postnatal visiting, again, that is um, sort of more cut back than it, than it was. When you go home, you will receive a telephone co call the next day to make arrangements for the rest of your postnatal care. We have changed our drop-in clinic. It's no longer a drop-in clinic. It's now actually more of a postnatal clinic and you'll be given a time to point for that. So uh, you will get regular con phone contact with your community midwife, but we are trying to keep the postnatal visiting down to a minimum, but to still give you the level of support that you need, as Cher and Ali have explained to you. So, so that's it from us for today. Um, the situation is ever rapidly changing, and when things change significantly from where they are today, we will check in with you again and give you an update. So please take care of yourselves, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.